So on one of the key allegations made by Rahul Gandhi on pressure from agencies to transfer the ownership of Mumbai Airport to the GVK Group, uh, or rather to the Adani Group, from the GVK Group. I'm actually joined by Sanjay Reddy of the GVK Group. Thank you very much, Mr. Reddy, for being with us. Was there pressure on you uh, in any way from, from the Adanis, for example, to sell to them? Vishnu, there was absolutely no pressure from Adani Group or anyone else for us to sell Mumbai Airport. And let me explain the background to this transaction. Uh, you know, maybe a year before that itself, uh, we were looking at fundraising because in our airport holding company, uh, we had raised debt about nearly 10 years ago when we did the acquisition of Bangalore Airport. And that debt was becoming due. So we were talking to a number of investors and we had tied up with three investors, global investors. One is Adia, second is PSP of uh, the Canadian Pension Fund. And third is NIIF, who is the Indian uh, uh, country uh, fund. And uh, they together had agreed to invest in this company, which, will, which would help us uh, repay the debt. However, you know, they had a lot of conditions precedent, like any international investor would have. And after we signed the deal, then we hit COVID. For three months, the airport business was completely shut. And we had zero revenue. Obviously, that put more financial pressure on us. And so we were trying to work with them to conclude the transaction quickly, which was not happening. So around the same time, Gautam Bhai approached me and he said that he has a lot of interest in Mumbai airport and uh, whether uh, we are willing to do a transaction with him at the same terms and conditions. But the only difference being that he said he will assure that we'll conclude the entire transaction in one month. Sure, but you which know, it's very important for us. The, the key so, allegation uh, from that perspective, whatever we did was in the interest of the company and the lenders who we okay. had to repay. And uh, so therefore, we closed the transaction with Adani because we didn't see any light of day with the other investors. Right. Now, what about the central allegation mentioned today of the, the CBI or the enforcement directorate probing you or putting pressure on you, which forced you to sell? No, I think the circumstances under which has happened is clearly what I had mentioned in the first question. So there was no such thing... Uh, that happened other than uh, what I told you in the first question. There no, was but no pressure from anybody at Right, all. but what was asserted or stated in Parliament today, how would you respond to that? So, uh, as far as I am concerned, uh, clearly, you know, we had uh, uh, done this deal with Gautam Adani because of the fact that it was a need of the company. We had to repay lenders and uh, there was no pressure from anybody else at all. Now, as far as uh, uh, other aspects of uh, what is being said uh, uh, in Parliament or otherwise, I would not like to comment because I don't want to get into the politics of it. No, but in terms of uh, the transaction itself, how was the entire transaction handled as far as you were concerned? I mean, you've said there wasn't any pressure, but how was it handled? See, I know Gautam Bhai for some time and uh, the transaction was very smooth because you know, one thing I find with him is uh, uh, that he deals directly. He brings nobody else. So it was just me and him, just two of us. Uh, it took us less than a week uh, to be able to close everything. As far as the agreement is concerned, it was very simple, very straightforward. Uh, we didn't have much of conditions precedent. The time frame was very specific uh, so that uh, we could conclude it immediately and take care of the lenders, which was our top priority. And uh, he also gave comfort to lenders saying that he will give uh, you know, do this fast so that uh, they don't need not worry. So my dealing with him has been uh, excellent. Uh, I have no issues at all with uh, my dealings with him. And whatever was uh, committed, whatever was the understanding, uh, he kept it up and concluded it. Uh, all right. So, so that uh, we can take care of uh, our lenders, and uh, which was in the interest of the company as well. All right, Mr. Reddy. Thanks very much. So that's a, that's a strong response, in fact, uh, to what was raised in Parliament, which again begs that question. Uh, how much of the allegations being made uh, on crony capitalism are rhetoric and not based on anything as far as airports is concerned? Mr. Reddy seems to suggest that the transaction was clean. It was done between the Adanis and his group without any pressure uh, from the Adanis or agencies for that matter. There were pressures, but those were financial pressures linked to COVID at that time. Uh, this is with regard to Mumbai Airport.